Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Sunshine Doctor's Corner. Dr. Yang Chen's advice for child growth. I'm Dr. Yang Chen. In this series, it is mystified common clinic questions. We will share the questions frequently asked by parents. Today's question is: Doctor, the requirements you ask for are very difficult for the child to meet. What should we do? The teaching assistant gave the member the concept that Dr. Yang has always emphasized: having a healthy body is the foundation for the smooth progress of our children' growth and development. Therefore, if early sleep, balanced nutrition, regular exercise, and the sufficient hydration are not achieved, there will be qualitative and quantitative changes in height and weight. And thus, the desired height may not be reached. So, no matter how difficult it is, we must find a way to accomplish it because healthy is with us for a lifetime. In fact, under the current environment in Taiwan, children usually go to sleep after 11 p.m. However, sleeping can gradually be trained. At the same time, training in time management. Efficiently complete homework and not procrastinating with daily habits can gradually adjust the bedtime to 10 to 10:30 p.m., ensuring that the children have the sound sleep between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. is key. As for the nutrition part, it will be explained in details in the next episode. Here, it means asking children to adhere as much as possible to eating whole foods, avoiding all the processed foods and fried items, and not consuming sugary drinks and desserts between meals. This can maintain the most basic balanced diet habits. For more details, you can also refer to the nutrition explanations in the first series. Regarding exercise. The physical education classes at school are actually not enough for children today. However, the learning environment and family life routines indeed cannot be meet the daily exercise needs of children. Therefore, I suggest and request that every Saturday and Sunday, parents accompany their children to exercise. This not only supplements the lot of the exercise during the week, but also enhances the parent-child relationship, which is beneficial in many ways. During regular days, spending 10 minutes to jump the row 500 times can suffice. An adequate hydration is extremely important, but often overlooked. Children in today's environment have become accustomed to substituting drinking for water. This is a major impediment to child's health. We must gradually train children to stay away from sugary drinks. At least 1,000 cc of plain water is required daily. This is a rarity to wait. For example, a 30 gram child needs. 1,700 cc water per day. If they already consume a 250 cc glass of milk in the morning and evening, then they should have at least 1,000 to 12,000 cc of plain water. After the above explanation, do you find that it's actually not so difficult, right? Every try is unique. But the general principles are the same. As long as we seriously examine our children's daily routines and the quality of their nutrition, and address these issues accordingly, improve unhealthy habits, I believe parents can definitely help them achieve good health. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.